All right, guys, so on to video number 11. I'm going to do my tops inserts. So I'm going to start off here with the uh, 2006 white suede parallel top sterling set. I managed to collect all 19 Barry Bonds from that set. So there they are. And those are all numbered to 50. So that set took a while to put together. And then in 2007, they did the same thing, the white suede, all numbered to 50. If you guys are familiar with uh, Top Sterling, you'll remember these. And these are, there's 24 cards in this set, and these are also all numbered to 50. So that was quite a task putting that, those two sets together. And then, whoops, there's the end of it. And then I did p pick up one of the burgundy ones, numbered 214. And then on both of those uh, top sterling, I have the base set as well. So the 2006 19 card base set and the 2007 19 card or 24 card base set, and there's 250 each on those. And then in 2006, Tops Finest made a 25 card set of Bonds, uh, Barry Bonds Finest Moments, and they had a gold parallel set number two 199 cards and I got that whole 25 card set there so those are awesome and then the regular version I think there's like 425 on each of these I can't remember what is it yeah 4 425 so I got that set as well and then here's just some of the finest inserts I have some of the rarer ones the man of course I have refractors of all these and then the finest, these are, like that's the sparkle on the PLM reveal. And then we got the Hyperland PLM reveal. Acetate, see the finger, see the finger, as Ricky would say. And then Stadium Stars, kind of a foily looking card. Nice card there. And then we got some others. I mean, these aren't part of my refractor PC because there are there's no non-refractor variation of these cards. Same th same with these finest moments. That's why it's not part of my refractor PC. But they they basically are refractors. They just don't have a non-refractor parallel. And then we got that one. And then we got a bunch of other other uh, inserts that don't have re non-refractor parallels. And then a bunch of other, like uh, the 97 gold embossed. And of course I got the refractor version of that and the regular gold. Kind of tough cards to find. So that is the first half of this video. Okay, so moving right along with video number 11 of my Bonds PC Showcase. I got Topps Gold. We got the opening day parallel. Got a one of one printing plate. I love that. I love that image of Bond, so I was glad to get that printing plate. Some more Tops Golds all the way back to 2001. We have, which one is that? I'm not even sure which one that is, but it's a rare one. 98 Tops. Got a copper from 07, the home run 73. Uh, yeah. What's that? Some box set home run 73. Bunch of tops inserts, the flashback, the uh, borderless, and then these two are Japanese cards, and these have a regular version. These are the rare parallel versions, but they're kind of cool. Like it's written in Japanese on the back, so I got a couple of different years on these. The regular ones I have in the binders, but the uh, the rare parallel ones I have in the box. And then these are all one of ones here that I'm about to show you. These are the Chase to 715 and. Um, see where it says game number 67, inning second. They made a card for each game and each inning in 2006 and 2007, or 5 and 6, um, for, to guess when Bonds was going to pass Babe Ruth. And of course, he got injured the first year, so he never passed Babe Ruth. So the next year, they did the same thing, and that's why there's a white background one and a black background one. These are a lot tougher to find. Um, but these are all one of ones. They have the uh, hologram on the back. One of one. So I got a few of them. So you notice that the game and the inning are different. Kind of fun cards to collect. And then I got a Bowman Tiffany. Some just uh, different Bowman parallels. Uh, those are kind of tough. This one's nice. It's numbered to 52. 
That's a tough parallel right there. And then we go into the Bowman's Best. And after 1999, there was a, there were no non-refractor Bowman's Best cards. So these are all the um, parallels to the base card. And most of these are numbered like 100 or less. We got the blue, the gold. And that was uh, one year they did the Bowman Originals. That's a black parallel. And then, of course, the old um, Stadium Club. Uh, luminar, illum, illuminator and Luminescent, the, regu the base one's in my binder. Then I got the following year on that one, that's a Luminescent or Illuminator. I don't know, I get th these are really easy to get mixed up, but this is the toughest one from this year and these are the two toughest ones from that year. A bunch of like laser cut, die cut cards. Love this card here with the laser cut where it says Firebrand. That's like a piece of wood that was laser cut where it says Firebrand. A couple of others there. Uh, let's see. Moving on down. Some more Stadium Club. A first day issue, of course. Uh, this one here, the Matrix from 97 Stadium Club. Uh, that would be a fun set to put together. That's just tons of shine. Love that card. And then gold label, I got the gold, the uh, silver and platinum variations on that one. A couple of, or all three gold ones, class one, two, and three from that year. That's a class three from that year. These are the gold die cuts from, uh, I forget the years, maybe like 99 or 2000. Those are numbered to 100. That's a 98. Then we got the pristine, the encapsulated one, and then this one's a lot tougher than non-encapsulated. This is a this is a um, Topps Heritage from like Hawaii. There's like three or four of these. I got to get the other ones, but that one I found at a card show. And one of my favorite cards. I'm just gonna pick it up here. But the Hollow Dome. God, I wish it. I, the, I wish I could show you the card better. But that card's sick, man. Just trust me. That card is really nice. From uh, Stars and Steel. Impossible card to find. Then the gold version of that. These are the, uh, I forget what the parallel is called, but they're, uh, it's a parallel to the base uh, tops gallery. And then this one here, I don't know if a lot of people know about this set, but this is a 97 top stars, always mint. So it has like a foil back. And then on the front, it's a little bit more shiny, but that's like a tough parallel to find. Those are, those are as tough to find as the refractors. I think it was like one per box. Back then, and then I do have a diffractor, 98 um, uh, Topps Tech diffractor bonds. I have one example. These are really tough to find. Some of the turkey reds, the black uh, parallel, the gold parallel. This one's numbered to 50. Some of the rarer T206 bonds. I'm not going to show you guys the backs, but these are the rarer backs on all those. So there's, I don't know, there's probably another 10 or 15 of those I can pick up. And then, <clears throat> let's see here, more, uh, what are these, Ginter, I just picked this one up. That's like the Hawaii variation back, that one's real cool. Then we got the, uh, what's that, Triple Threads, some of the, uh, from 2006 and 7. Just picked this one up not too long ago. Uh, and then we got all the E-Tops. Very nice. I think I have every E-Tops of Barry. And then this is kind of fun right here. These are a bunch of like super mini cards. So these are Cracker Jacks. And then I think in uh, 91 they did a Don Russ and a Topps Cracker Jack. And then these are even smaller. These are the Topps Micro. And so that's from, uh, what's that, 91. This is 92, the Gold, the Regular, and the All-Star. And then in 93. They just made the uh, the regular one. All right, guys. So those are all my tops inserts, and my next video will be all the other manufacturer inserts that I have. Of course, these are the non-refractor inserts. So I showed you the refractors earlier. All right, guys. Happy collecting. Thanks for watching. Peace out.